YouTube. Hey, that recording didn't fuck up either. This is <laughs> okay. This is Slender Red Chicken with part seven of Undertale. Um, last episode, a papyrus spared our piddly human life, and it was pretty cool. He's a pretty neat dude, and uh, yeah. But I'm gonna kill him later, right, Lindsay? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill Sans. I'm gonna kill everyone. Drink some tea. Okay, anyway, we came up upon Snowden Town. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see what's the dilly with the dally. We're seeing what's up. Okay, here's a box. Here's a box, sure, why not? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it by. It's like an ender chest. The shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? What do you want? A bell. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how works where you come from, but if I start spending money on old branches and use bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. What sort of things do you have? Manly bandana, bicycle. What does that mean? Cinnamon bun. Goof. It has abs on it. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Okay, no, I'm leaving. Talk. Say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? I don't look like a monster either. What to do here? I want to know what to do here in Snowden? Robies has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Okay, town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided that they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Your life. Tell me about your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Okay, farewell. Bye now, come again sometime. Free- Do you not have freedom right now? Hi. Welcome to Snowden! Haha, <laughs> get it? Snowden and Snow Snowden's premier hotel! <laughs> One night is 80 gold snow. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Who are you? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I sleep on your couch. And I go up here without permission. And I come behind here. Never mind then. I'm leaving. to the other side of town? Try the undersnow tunnel, sir. Officially laid out. Okay. Who are you? You're weird. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What disturbs you about her? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. You're fucking weird. Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Okay, we got this. Awful teens tormented at a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. We start giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Well, now I know. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. It's Okay, shut up. Stop. Stop talking to me. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. He's, well, he's not wearing a striped shirt. Is he? The town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Oh, that's politics. Oh boy, this place doesn't look sleazy at all. Hey, there's, there's the guy here. Hey, I know these guys. Hey, dog, I mean. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. 
because that big guy will jump you on into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. You know what? Not only was that a terrible pun, but maybe if you want respect, you should stop macking in front of all your enemies. We love bones. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and- <laughs> Hot guys! Okay, well, some hot- Here's a hot guy. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? Does things like, quote unquote, spoil. Yeah, I know, it's weird, right? And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Who are you? Are you a horse? Captain's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the, the erasure of our local culture. Well, I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on in, uh, slip onto their butts. Haha. Uh, ha. Is this a jukebox? Can I play some music? The jukebox is broken. Well, that answers my question. Oh, I gotta... Mm -mm. Just biting off calluses. Don't mind that. Okay. Are you... Are you okay? Do you have a problem, sir? You alright? Hey, doggo! I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like... Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> oh, does it now? Looking at Lindsay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yep. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Good job. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make it out with a fish. Wow, you aren't sleazy at all. Those dogs are part of a royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. She seems pretty cool. Da 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 da. Real said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but does he doesn't touch the stuff. Wow, what a dick. What a dick. What a dick. Okay, well I guess I'm leaving. Bye guys. Whoa, is this a mouse with a scarf? Everyone's always laughing at Cracking Joe's trying to forget our water crisis. Drain is crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Okay, well, who are you? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Well, that's a good attitude. Not really. What's this? Let's play Monsters and Humans. You're a rock. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be a human again, are you? Well... Hello? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah, oh, that's kinda creepy. Bye. Well, what's going on here? Hey, bro, what are you doing? I'm just not gonna question it. Let's keep walking. Hey, are we at the meat fountains of Alma or what? This is not... What is that? Kind of looks like a big... Like a, like a dam. Looks like a dam. That's what it looks like. Okay, anyway, that was not disturbing at all. Lib library library <laughs> library <laughs> go into the library look in your eye you're someone that has difficulty solving junior jumble aren't you i've never once played junior jumble my friend i'm just saying it so i could i love working on the newspaper there's a little report that we just fill it with comics and games that's cool cough cough when I was oh wait, you're smoking a cigarette. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. Oh, they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh wait, I should start with Monster History Part 1, shouldn't we? Okay, hold on. Let's go over here. It's a score part about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. 
monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take the dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Well... While monsters are mostly uh, made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. That's sad. They will never get a birthday pattern birthday card. Ugh, ugh, that's, I said that so awkwardly. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> what are you doing? Because they are made out of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. A monster doesn't want to fight, its defense is weakened. And the crueler their in the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck, the struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Uh, well, thank goodness I'm not that person. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans were no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Until we reach what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, the king is really bad at names. Love, hope, con compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh. Okay then. That's not disturbing at all. Thank goodness I'm being merciful, am I right? Not killing Torio, all that stuff. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> well, you gotta fix that, bro. Cause I wanna go to the library. <laughs> it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yeah. It's empty. Well, that was disappointing. Do they live here? Hello? It's locked. Never mind. Can I look through the window? Hello? Locked from the inside. Well, somebody must be in there having some private time then. Oh, there's ice float. Whoa! What is going on here? Hello? Okay. Where am I? That's Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like joy of finding another pasta lover. Are you talking about me? Admiration for another puzzle. Another's puzzle solving skill. That's really sweet. Oh my god. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be to feel like, the fuck, feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Grim Papyrus, will be your... Dot, dot, dot. No! No! No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That is... <laughs> That's Papyrus! <laughs> Dies. <clears throat> the newest member of the Royal Guard! Papyrus blocks the way. No, bruh. Hey, guess what, Lindsay? Ooh. This guy's an asshole. I'm totally gonna kill him. I'm flirting with you. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feeling. Oh, well, I have a skeleton with very high standards. I can mix it. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you. What are, what does that mean? What were those? Papyrus. And Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later. No, I'm not date. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight you. Let's. What is that attack? Spare me. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Papyrus. The virus, please. <laughs> I, ma I managed it. Uh, why? Why is- why? Why am I blue? That's my attack! Yeah! You're blue now. Okay. 
Well, this is new. This is new. Pirates dab turn aerosol behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Uh, sure. Oh god, why? Ah, uh, blue dab a need a Oh fuck! Hey! Uh, that MTT brand fishy cream behind his ear. Oh, oh, well, oh, well thanks. Ah! 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 Oh god! The virus, why? Why are you doing this to me? Papyrus, okay. <laughs> MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. I'm gonna <clears throat> you look nice today. Your HP was maxed out. Thanks. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Okay, what is going on? Oh, fuck. Ah, I'm killing him right now, Lindsay. Do you see this? Do you see me killing him? <laughs> MTT brand of cute juice behind his ear. Oh, well. Nah. Nah. Let's, let's... I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're jumping. Oh, well, that happened. Why are you doing this to me? MTT brand attraction fly behind Head of the Royal Guard! That's a little bit! <laughs> Pirates has MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Very Pirates. A parallel sp spaghettor! Ah! Oh dear lord, Jesus, I'm so bad at this. Pirates, I'm gonna die before we can go on our date! You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you! I will now send you to the capture zone! Or, as Sans calls it, our garage? You're in the doghouse now! Yeah! Okay. Cool. Cool beans, bro. How I've been recording for a while. I really hope that this recording doesn't get fucked up. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry! It's lucky in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nuffly yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. I want wet food. It's a squeaky chew toy. Is this what humans need? It's too small to sleep on. No, where is there, why is there no mouse? Give me the mouse. Okay, well, he always makes these gates way too big for me to... Well, can I come in now? Can I, can I keep going? Where am I going? Excuse me, I'm going here now. Oh! Where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me! Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost! It sure is a relief to know that you're right here! Wait a second! You're not supposed to escape! Get back there! Oh boy, not this again. Oh dear lord, what have I done? What have I brought upon myself? Ah! Bone clone? Your special attack. God forbid you use your special attack. Why are you doing this to me? I thought we were dating! He may have cleverly- I have to do his voice. I can't not do his voice. If I don't do his voice, it's not right. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time, I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. Yeah! Okay, why won't I want to leave, huh? 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 There's hot dog cut up into the kibble. Wow. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trussled papyrus. Okay, yep, cool. I'm gonna escape again. Don't mind this. I'm going this way. Pardon me while I just escape. I need my next save point, papyrus. Papyrus. Papyrus, tell me what you want from me. Papyrus, you have to... Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. And the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, 
I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Oh, oh god damn. <coughs> I wonder what you should wear to. Just wear your normal outfit. I don't care. Do you see me not giving a shit? Try go fucking yourself, Papyrus. Maybe I will kill you. Just to spite Lindsay. Lindsay, I'm gonna kill him. No, no. Maybe I should just- yeah, well, he stops when I kill myself, so we'll just keep doing that. You are persistent, but it just won't work on me. I am the persistentest. And if you think that you are persistent, sir, well, that is wrong, grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistentest as requires the persistentest test. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Yeah! Do I have spaghetti in here yet? No, you're really rude. It's enough from Papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask! You don't need to fight me! Your host, Papyrus. I'm leaving. Yep. See you later, bro. I'm going this way. Anyway, so how about that, uh, <coughs> leaving me, me leaving this area. How about that is the thing that happens. Oh god, I'm losing my voice because I've been yelling too long. Oh boy. Uh, you're back again! I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. I bet you I can find someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. By Papyrus? Um, no. Nah. Okay! I guess I'll accept my failure. It's okay, bro. Yo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Me. I'll never join the Rogue Garden! My friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friends. <laughs> Who knew all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except for someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then his monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, You'll have to pass through the king's castle, the king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big pussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Wow, okay, that was unneeded. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah! What, ha? Okay, yeah, sure, that's how walking works. Oh god, my voice is- <coughs> It's so sore. What is this? Jesus Christ. What is this? Well, well, I'm going through it. Uh... Oh god, I have to do more voices. Okay, hold on. Okay, we've been recording- the sound of rushing water fills you with determination and the need to pee. <clears throat> okay, so. <laughs> Woo! Well, I've been recording for a long ass time. So I think I'm gonna end the recording here. Thank you so much for watching uh, this installment of Undertale. If you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next part and the next installment of Undertale. Alright, bye!